Rear Mercantile's investment philosophy is, is called PVT, short for Potential Valuation and Timing. Potential simply describes companies that grow their shareholder value at above average pace over the medium term, so growing profits and their cash flow. Valuation is a, is a classic definition of value investing, wanting to pay 50p for a pound worth of medium term uh, intrinsic value, buying companies cheaply. Uh, timing is recognising that you can use uh, timing tools to improve when you allocate capital to a, 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 an a, attractive investment. So classic timing tools would be share price technicals turning positive, so the share price starting to, to behave positively, earnings revisions uh, turning positive, so earnings bottoming out and starting to improve and also fundamental timing tools which would be management becoming far more focused on shareholder value, self-help for example, or new management coming in and uh, really focusing, drilling down into to shareholder value. So PVT, potential valuation and timing, that's our philosophy. How do we find uh, PVT ideas? Well from day one when we launched the business we want to be systematic. Um, about uh, how we found PVT ideas. So we put in place a systematic screen, a proprietary screen, which we call Money Penny. Money Penny hunts around the UK universe for companies that have potential valuation and timing characteristics. Those high scoring stocks, we then take those away and do the fundamental work. So kicking of tires, our research team focus on the kicking of tires, fundamental work. If we're still high conviction at the end of that fundamental work, we're debated as a team, still high conviction, it will go into portfolios. So recovery is a subset of our, our PVT approach. So it's recovery, potential valuation and, and timing. So we're looking for good quality uh, business franchises where the profitability is temporarily depressed. So profits depressed equals other investors uh, not liking that, uh, that, that share and driving down the share price. That creates a significant valuation gap and it's that big valuation gap that we want to, to exploit. But we do have to have confidence that the company is going to be returning to an attractive uh, level of margins and return on capital and it can only do that if there's clear evidence of self-help uh, being put in place and this is the timing aspect of recovery PVT so self-help aggressive cost cutting often new management team coming along to 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 deliver that so recovery PVT uh, that's the focus of the UK recovery fund good example in the past would be Sumero Sumero is one of the world's uh, leading, well, is the world's leading uh, producer of kit that flattens concrete. And we first invested in it during the global financial crisis 10 years ago. Um, it was at that time good quality franchise but profitability depressed because it was exposed to a downturn in the US building industry. Management really, really focused on uh, taking out costs and improving cash flow. That gave us confidence that the company would survive and go on to prosper, which is exactly what uh, has happened over the last 10 years. We still hold in the portfolio having bought at really depressed levels. It's done really well for us over the last 10 years, recovered its profits, recovered its cash flow, and the share price has followed that recovery path. Well, we're looking for recovery PVT um, stocks. So. What we want is an underlying strong business franchise, a company that in the past has generated attractive return on capital, but we're looking to invest in that company when the profitability is, is temporarily depressed and it's that depressed level of profitability that creates, uh, creates the, the value gap. So strong underlying franchise, uh, depressed short-term profitability, clear evidence that uh, either a new management team or existing management team are focused on restoring shareholder value, restoring profits and, and cash flow. They'll be doing that through a self-help program. We want to see evidence of that. We want to see evidence that the management team may well have done that in the past. We want to also to be confident that um, the business is financially sustainable, so relatively robust balance sheet and clear evidence of, 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 of cash flow. And then last but not least, we want to be confident the timing is starting to come through, so recovery, potential valuation and timing. So timing will be reflected in terms of profitability already on an improving trend, cash flow on an improving uh, trend and share price technicals starting to pick up, so other investors starting to get attracted to that company. Obviously value traps is, is a classic area for all value investors to, to think about. Cheap companies can easily get cheaper or stay cheap. Uh, we address that issue uh, by having 
um, an important part of our process, uh, looking to avoid value traps, and that's the timing side of potential valuation and timing. So timing specifically is uh, looking for clear evidence that a company has come through um, its difficult period where profitability and cash flow are already starting to pick up and management have been put in place, new management have been put in place to, to um, uh, improve shareholder value. So the timing is already starting to improve and that's a critical component within our process that addresses that issue of, of value traps. The other key thing that we need to think about, and we do this at the point of, of research, is disruption. So clearly uh, the global economy is going through a period where there are significant industries being disrupted by the digital economy, and we just need to debate that at uh, the time we're doing the fundamental research. A good classic example at the moment would be retailers, for example. A lot of them are being disrupted by e-commerce, so you need to ask the question about whether as a result of that this is a value trap. So we do that. We're not going to avoid all value traps, uh, but uh, we do make sure that we include it within our philosophy and process and at the point of debate.